Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for stopping in again. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. Um, I do talk about gear and guitar stuff and things like that. Today we're looking at the Helix LT, which I have laying right here. Uh, you can't see that, but uh, I'll show you just for the sake of showing you. Just so you'll know it's there. It's not just some software. But that's the Helix LT, and I just kind of have it sitting up. Um, I basically have it sitting up where it's just on the table because I kind of use it for recording more than anything. And how I edit it is instead of bending down on the floor and things like that, I will go into the uh, software that's on the computer. And it's real easy to do. And I just got this a few days ago. So if if I can figure it out, you can. So let's go ahead and get you into the screen here where you can see what's going on. Let's see here. Um, all right, display capture. All right, here we go. So here is the Helix editor software. Um, and I think I got you guys where you can see this. Let's go ahead and take this off. No, wait. Okay. Sorry. I just want to go ahead and take that off. So, okay. So we're back to the uh, HX edit screen and I'm going to make this quick and simple to the point. This is something I've already have set up for my band, but if you go here, you click up here. You have the factory presets, uh, stuff that was preloaded into the Helix, uh, more stuff, and then you have your user presets and the templates. I don't even know what that means. Like I said, only I had it two days ago. Got it two days ago. So, um, go to user bank one, and these three tones here, P and W, P and W two, and hyperholic tone, are the ones that I've created already. And this one right here is the uh, hyperholic tone. And I'll just show you what I know. So let's go ahead and do a new one. Okay. This is what it sounds like. Just guitar in. So here's these l this little uh, chain, effects chain here. What I like to do is I go ahead and push this, uh, the little circle here. And then I just turn on the input gate. Because it just gets rid of noise later on. And you could put a gate here, but I ain't going to worry with it. So it's just always on. And then I don't really know how to do the crazy uh, signal flow stuff yet. So what I do is I just click here. And then I go ahead and make. So this runs together now. This is These two lines are now connected. And how I do it is I'll put in here in the middle. I would, you just click there on the top line, then you go down here and you find an amp. You got amps, preamps, cabs, and amps plus cabs. You could do a head and then a cab uh, separate. You have to do them separately. But for the sake of uh, convenience here, we're just going to do the amp plus cab. Then you just choose one. And by the way, all this stuff is in real time. So when I change something here, it's going straight into the uh, helix, uh, helix and then it saves it once you hit over here. And then you got it there without having to bend over and stuff. So I, f I find it's a lot easier. So let's go ahead and choose an amp. I'm going to go with... Um, I'll go with this, this one here. Okay. So now I got it in. It's a pretty hot amp. All right. So let's turn it off. Let's turn it on. All right. Cool. So we got that going. Let's go to the beginning here and click here and let's put a uh, volume pedal in. So this, so now I have a volume, my pedal on the board, the, he the Helix will work now as a volume pedal. You can put a wah in, why not, doesn't matter right now. And then you just hold this and then you can drag it by the way so much easier to do it on this software so if you want to dial in tones you might as well do it at home so let's go here and let's see what we got 
Uh, let's go to EQ. No, they all. Okay, let's just put the LA Studio compressor here. Cool. Now I'm going to put a couple distortions here in the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in front of the amp. So let's choose a distortion. And I'm going to go ahead and get with the. Which one do I want to use? It doesn't really matter, right, for the sake of. So there it is. That sounds pretty cool to me, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, though. Then let's go find another one. I like putting two, two there. Let's get, let's do this vintage one. That's going to be pretty hot. Oh yeah. So what what we have right now is all right. Okay. So now I got the. Uh, the amp plus the cab I got the two distortion pedals and I got um, the volume pedal and the wah pedal so on the helix itself I can hover over each block and then just press the uh, foot switch not push it in but just hold my finger like touch it and then I can assign it to those foot switches I mean there's really no point showing it because it's all over the internet, but it's as simple as that. So let's go over here. I think you can actually assign them to, so let's just try that. Let's go, all right, bypass assign. Let's go foot switch two. So this distortion of foot switch two. Okay, yeah, so see, you can do it right here. And basically that, that put the color on the uh, helix and now it's an orange color and it's assigned to a foot switch already so let's go ahead and put this to foot switch three perfect all right so they're on the board now so let's go and put a um simple delay over here nothing too crazy I'm just gonna back that time off let's see what that sounds like with this baby on yeah it's a little busy for me that's better what about this feedback? Maybe like a little bit here. Okay, that's fine for me for now. So let's turn that off and let's go ahead and assign this to foot switch eight. Now that's on it's on the board. Now this thing would be ready for a, a gig, you know, if that's all I needed. If you're a simple guy, you don't need much. I mean that's all you need. But we're gonna go ahead and put a, a reverb here. And you go to the to the legacy ones to get them, you know. The <coughs> simple one. Let's uh, turn this distortion off. <coughs> Uh, I could play around with that, I guess. Let's see what this park over does. Like crazy after a while, probably. 
Let's see. See, that's what I'm saying. If you wanted to play chords, I wouldn't do that one. But maybe just picking, you know. Oh. I'll, I'll keep that one there even though I probably wouldn't use it like that <laughs> but let's go ahead and assign it to a foot switch and we'll go foot switch 9 okay and that's now on the helix and that's a simple setup so let's go ahead and uh, play something and by the way the amp that I selected you can click here and then you can kind of like uh, control the parameters but it is a hot amp uh this one it's just it's pretty hot already so so if i was if i had this thing on the floor the helix on the floor i could just push the stomp box and then So that's that's the simple way to uh oh yeah okay let's go ahead then you click here you name it uh test whatever you want to name it then you click this folding thing here the folder thing and then it's saved to the helix it already changed the name and everything that's the basic rundown of how to do it so so let me go ahead and show you how it how it happened over here in the uh helix itself just so you're not too curious um, okay so I'm not gonna do that to you guys okay all right so there's the chain just like we saw in in the computer and that's the foot switches I assigned it to so that was foot switch 8 that's one two whatever whatever I put it there then there's the pedal for the wah and the volume and it's as simple as that there's the name and now if I click this see it gets brighter now that distortion is on that distortion is now on here's my delay and delays green reverbs orange uh, distortions yellow so it's pretty simple but uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.